The second contest on the program this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is a lightweight contest of six three-minute rounds. Introducing in this corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Northampton, with a professional record of six wins, five losses and one draw, with three of those wins coming by knockout, David Kehoe. And from Birkenhead, ladies and gentlemen, his record is five wins, one loss, with one win by KO from Birkenhead, Jamie McKeever. And the official way in, ladies and gentlemen, Keo scales nine stones, 11 and a half pounds. Makiba, nine stones, 11 and three quarter pounds. The referee for the contest, Mr. Ian John Lewis. The timekeeper, Mr. Danny Peacock. Well, I'll tell you something, Dave. There's a lot of eyeballing going on in there. Look yeah. at David Keo. Wow, it looks could kill. He hasn't, he hasn't taken his eyes off Makiba since he got into the ring. Unbelievable, eh? Just if, if Lutz could kill. Yeah, absolutely. Mind you, anybody can stare. I could yeah. stare at you like that. That means I'm <laughs> gonna knock you out. Oh. <coughs> Ian John Lewis is the third man in the ring. Not a bad fighter himself in, in his day. Saw him fight here a couple of times. So it's Keo in the black and the uh, dirty stare against McKeever in the black and yellow the stripes. And Keo, I think this is a, a real crisis fight for him having lost his last two i mean you know he, he's on the downward skid if he loses this one yeah, well, he's really up for this fight because mckeever is an up-and-coming fighter but i was saying earlier on, on, on today i think mckeever could actually go down a weight nick because I, I just think he's not big enough to be fighting you know at uh, at, uh, at lightweight because it's nine stone ten pounds uh, the lightweight uh, division so He's smaller than I am, so I, I, I believe he could, he could go down to the super uh, super featherweight, which is nine stone four. Which is, it, it does seem to be more his natural weight. <laughs> well, Keo's been disqualified in the past as well, but it's uh, Makiba that's getting a, a warning, and now Keo is getting a, a word as well. Makiba has been disqualified for hitting a man as they walk to the corner at the end of the round. I mean, this guy's a firecracker in there. Oh, yes, he just goes absolutely ballistic. But there's one thing you shouldn't do in a ring, you shouldn't turn your back on your opponent. You should always be there and defending yourself at all times, regardless of the situation. That's a good combination from Keo. Because you're right, Dave, McKeever's still a prospect, very much so. I mean, we saw him lose that fight, quite surprisingly, to John T. Kelly. Not many people thought he'd lose that. Kelly put on quite a show that night. Actually broke McKeever's jaw, but we saw him bounce back and stop Gary Burrell in a couple of rounds last time out. So a few question marks there are around McKeever still. This is a real good test for him tonight. What happens, uh, Nick, when uh, when there's an, an up-and-coming fighter and he's fighting the likes of David Keogh, will he actually loses his game? Will he fights actually better than what he normally would? Because this is an up-and-coming fighter and, and I've got something here to prove and I want to beat this guy to get my own, my, my own career back on track. This is what's going through Keogh's mind now. Good he shot. wins this, he's back there. Yeah, good shot. Just whistled past the chops of Keogh from McKeever, the long right hand. I tell you, this one's going to be a real cracker of a fight. That's a really good jab by Kihu. That's a good, it's a good strong, stiff jab. I tell you, the right from Akiva got through again, and ju again just glanced off the jaw. But Kihu's going to have to watch that. There he goes again. He's looking for it, Makiva. and Kihu's open to it, Dave. Oh, Kihu definitely is. But Makiva just lacks that wee bit of power at, 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 at this weight, and that's why I believe he would be a lot more effective if he moved down a weight because. We have a, a, a bit more power. Uh, his, his punching power has been sort of nullified. But he's not a natural uh, lightweight in, in, in my eyes. You can see the size of him. Uh, he's a lot smaller than Kiho in stature and in build. Wow. What a fast pace for this first round. Look oh, oh what's all that? Word, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. Whatever you need to do to get yourself psyched up for a match, I'm all for that. But I mean, it's just a waste of energy. No, but surely doing, doing those things in the ring, doing these things in the ring, it, it, it's not scoring points. It, it, it's not going to frighten your opponent. He's there. He wants to win. And all the funny faces and all and all the expressions, they mean absolutely nothing. But you say he's wasting up valuable energy yeah. for doing all this. And he, you know, his mind's not on what he should be doing. Entertaining stuff, though. Yep, absolutely first class. 
this fella, the young teenager from Birkenhead, still 19, Jamie McKeever, and definitely regarded as a prospect, although, as I say, that John Kelly defeat, John T. Kelly, I should give him his proper name, uh, raised a lot of question marks. And he, McKeever really can't afford to lose this one. No. That's going to mark him down no, on the journey. Uh, Peckham, you can lay for a one-off thing, because some nights you do, some nights you have a bad night. Peckham, you have too many bad nights. Not in this game, anyway. Which is something that David Keogh's had too much of lately. 1999 has not been good for Keogh. Two fights, two defeats, including in this ring a couple of months ago, a fight we saw against Gary Fleer. Never seemed to really get on track in that one and went down on points. But he looks to be really up this one, like Keogh, because he's really, the, the way he's delivering his punches, you know, he, he's gritting his teeth and he's trying to really drive each punch from the jab, the right hands, the hooks. He's really just trying to bury them. It's not a real sprint, remember, this is going to go six rounds if it goes to this, is that right hand good again. Hand, a good right hand by McKeever. But then again, it hasn't really and affected again. Kehoe in any way, Nick. You can see he's still there. Does, he, he, ha he hasn't flinched at all. He's, it, it doesn't seem to hurt him one, one, one tiny bit. But McKeever is very stylish, he's very compact, he is good. He is a real good prospect. Kehoe hasn't really managed to test his jaw yet either. That jury... Uh, Sustained a break against John T. Kelly. I'm sure Keogh knows all about that. Just plowing in there, David Keogh. See, he's using his, his natural strength and his natural weight uh, difference. You know, he's heavier, he's stronger, and that's all a big plus for Keogh. And if he can use those to his advantage, like he, 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 he could create a lot of problems for McKeever. I'll tell you something, I wouldn't want to make an enemy of David Keogh. Well, he looks a real vicious guy, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, there are any circumstances. He's not the fella you'd want coming looking for you. But he's not having too much joy here in round two. You know, what he's doing is he's throwing a lot of points. He's loading up with every point that he's throwing here. And that's a recipe for disaster because what happens is you're on out of gas. You can't keep loading up all the time. You have to save. Every punch can't be an out-out punch. And he's missed with a lot as well. Yeah. Which also just saps your energy. Of course, if he does connect with one of those big ones, Keogh is going to be in trouble. But Keogh, just like we saw there, just oh, really nice not one landing. Two. Nice one, too, from McKeever. And McKeever's boxing the better fight at the moment. Well, another right nice again, yes, Keogh's yes. wide open to it. The left hand so low. I actually think Keogh is beginning to tire a bit I now. I know this is in the second round, but he looks to me as if he, he, he's running out of gas. Well, he came out like an express train coming off the tracks, didn't he? But... Uh, that was a big swinging right hand. They got Keogh right from the back of the hole. He's starting to blow a bit, Keogh. And McKeever's so far keeping it together. But I'll tell you, Keogh, if he does start to connect, and there's a cut, big cut, right on the eyelid. Is that a clash of heads? Or it or looks like a clash, clash of heads. It's not a nice cut. And I think the referee, Ian John Lewis, is saying, forget it. No, he's saying, no chance. And David Keogh wants to go on, but... I think John Lewis has ended this one, and he has. Absolutely crazy here, look. Oh, he's very unhappy, Keo, and now he's having a real oh, mouthful at McKeever, and that's un totally uncalled for. I, I didn't see whether it was a clash of heads or a punch. It, it must have been a clash, Keo. I mean, I look, hope Keo holds look. himself together. He's trying to have a go. You uh, see it here in the slow mo. I still can't see what actually happened there. I, you can see the cut there now. I didn't actually oh, I see didn't what see happened. I didn't see anything. No. Not, not from that, unless it had happened a bit earlier. But Keo furious, still shooting filthy glances at his opponent. But I tell you, if there was a clash there, it was surely accidental. And uh, when your luck's out, as it is with David Keo, his luck is right up. But Let's see if we can have another yeah. look. Let's have a look. I, I there well, there it is, is. There yeah, it is. clash of heads. He was throwing the, the right, the, the left jab to go in and, and he followed on in through to, to get the right hand uh, on target and he, he fell in too far and there's a clash of heads. Very unfortunate and the third straight defeat for David Keogh. Now gentlemen please, after two minutes, 44 seconds of round two, ladies and gentlemen, Keogh having sustained a cut over the left eye, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, Jamie McKeever. Well, gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree, an unfortunate ending to an excellent contest. Your appreciation, please, for the loser, David Keogh.
what's the what, what's the elaborate?